let's say Westerners, we're so lucky to have freedom in the, in the sense that we can wear what we want, we can say what we want, we don't have to <clears throat> pay attention that our neighbors are spies and are going to put us into, in jail. I was born in Poland, but I grew up in Germany, in Hamburg, um, till I was about 16 and then I started to venture out into the world, went to South Africa and then Spain and Athens and then came to the States and lived in London for a long time and Paris and moved here four years ago. Born in New Jersey and grew up all over the country. My parents moved around every one to five years. They were ministers in a church. They were well studied, and but more so they were more practical. Uh, I think that's where their strength was, and that's what I learned mostly from them, was just to love people and to not judge them. It's very interesting and intense to know how my parents lived and grew up, and even my sister, who is 13 years older than me. They moved uh, just before the wall came down in 86, so escaping communism. What I was born into was so completely different from the life that luckily I got to, to lead and have. My mom is a very strong woman. Um, my dad is a great man too. And my mom especially, she's got a very classic, beautiful sense about herself. She's been a big inspiration just to embrace your own beauty and make the best out of it that you can. I've been modeling since I was 10. Starting in a really young age, it definitely screwed me up body-wise. I mean, I, I didn't have a good body relationship for the longest time. Throughout the last few years, I've been embracing my, my body and just my beauty and just being like, you know what, this is who I am and that's great the way I am. So I don't feel like changing for anybody anymore. <laughs> you know, until you learn that it doesn't really matter what anyone else, in, you know, anyone can suggest anything, but you can choose what you want. Right. And, you know, however you want to look, like whatever you want to do, you can choose to do it. Like, I've been in and out of modeling, but that's one of the things that just always, like, I think drove me crazy the first time through, was every time I was cutting my hair, I always felt like I was, like, like letting a part of myself, like, I can see Go. it. I can feel the influence throughout the years that I've been traveling because I do love so many different things. Like I love African styles, I love more tribal things, um, colorful stuff, like even in our home. That's how yeah. we kind of try to embrace that too, just more the nomadic tribal aspect. I love just patterns and colors, anything that makes me happy really. Like when it touches mm -hmm. my heart and mm -hmm. it makes me happy, I know. That's what I want to have around or on my body. The necklace, I just love feathers. My my new love, feathers, feathers, feathers. And it tore a hole and Carolina stitched it up with this red. I like the red stitching. The bracelet I found on the street, or from a street guy, I bought it. It's just such a great cuff. This is heart necklace. It was a gift from my friend Teresa. And this necklace is actually a gift from my mom to Carolina, but um, when I was <laughs> I was in Colorado when she gave it to me to give to her, but I haven't I've worn it every day since then. I think this is actually my engagement ring. I wear it day in, day out, sometimes even sleep in it. <laughs> Seattle, like I was saying earlier, was definitely diving into things I felt drawn to, like within the arts. A lot of landscapes, a lot of portraiture, a lot of uh, reflections and shadows and I guess just whatever I find beautiful and just try to carry my camera with me and be like, it kind of gives you an excuse to stop on a street corner and just to look, you know, and just to stand there. It makes there. you look at everything. Yeah, and you can get away, no one's going to look at you really, you know, if you're just standing there looking to take a picture. Yeah. New York is a really cool spot to pick up things off the street. Books, that's one of my favorite, some of my favorite books I've found on the street. Really? This Ralph Waldo Emerson selections, so it's a lot of like essays mm -hmm. and just kind of a group, just a group of his writings. You know, like we let each other be, and then just sometimes if we're like, do I look too crazy? We just, I just check in with you sometimes. Do I look ridiculous? I'm too crazy, and then you usually say no, and I do the same. I'm like, oh, you're fine. You look like you, and I just feel like I embrace that a lot. You know, just 
Yeah, that Whatever is more fun like to see what the other person will wear. <laughs> Just the way he cooks, uh, vegan, I was like, mm, okay, I start considering because before that, uh, I was just like vegan, oh my god, that's just hardcore, what do you eat? Like I didn't get it. But then I started educating myself and getting books and one day I was just like, how can I not? I know for myself, it's, I just want to continue just to like follow what I love to do. Oh, and one thing is that's beautiful is that we get to, we decided to share our lives and try to combine as many things that we love so that we can stay doing, being actively doing these things that we both enjoy, you know, but doing them together and supporting each other and seeing where that takes us and cultivating that, that energy in our lives.